Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here, and I'm with my boy Max. What's up guys? You guys may have seen Max through a ton of different videos in the past, but this one is our most special video yet, and we've been making it for the last five months. No joke. It's been forever. We've been waiting a long time, and we're super excited to show you guys. We think you're gonna love it. We documented the entire process. We went to New York in July. This was an appointment-based thing. We flew in for it. This is the only reason we were in New York. Please, if you do enjoy these kinds of videos, leave a like and drop a comment down below after you finished and uh, let's get started so we've made it downtown now all right so we've made it on Mercer Street so guys we are about to be doing our bespoke appointment I'm very excited I don't know what to expect but have my idea in mind. I'm gonna try and film as much of it as I can for the bespoke video. I've been saying the word bespoke a lot. So what does it mean? Oh, uh, this is cool. This oh, is sick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a whole lounge. Nike Bespoke is a customization program where you go, sit down with designers, and choose between your premium materials to create essentially a one-of-one -one sneaker for yourself. Air Force options. <laughs> this is insane. You can change all that, huh? You can choose three different sneakers to customize. The Air Force One Low, High, and the Air Max One. I chose the Air Force One High, and Max chose the Air Max One. The first step in making my shoe is picking what materials I wanted to use. I'm about to just take you through over 350 materials. There's four drawers. But there's a lot of materials that's in this drawer that Nike used to use that we don't use anymore. For instance, Eclair Mesh was the first mesh that was in um, Air Force Ones. The only shoe that you would have probably seen this within like the 10, I'm gonna say five years, um, V-Loans. Your shoe cannot be replicated. So here's where your suede's come into play. The exotics. So this is where you have, it's all genuine cow leather. Atmos MX1. People, people like to use it. Uh, textile, so this is where we have more of our liberty prints. We have prints like this. People like to use it. I really think of it as digi camo. John Carlo, do you know what you want to do? Yeah, I, I know what I want to do, do pretty much. Well, then you go. Yeah. You go first? Yeah. Right. So we'll give you about 10 minutes and you pick what materials you want to use, we'll bring it to the desk and then we'll start designing the issue. So I can just like choose an unlimited amount of like, oh, I'm kind of interested in Try using the, this. I would say stick to 15. 15 materials, that's a lot more than I thought. So right now I'm in the process of picking out my materials, but I kind of have an idea of what I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make like a V-Loan Air Force. See these meshes right here. They also have like these mesh materials in here. Kind of reminds me of like a messenger bag almost. Look at the texture differences. That feels more premium. All right, compare it to those. Very different. These are all reflective materials. Yes. After five or so minutes, I had a decent collection of material. I'll tell you. Oh, yes. You can do the old English font. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'll keep all the purples together. So I just chose my materials. There's so many options but I think I've narrowed it down to some of my favorites based on the texture, based on the colors, because some of the colors have a little bit of variation to them. Even though I grabbed all purple, they're not all the same. Purple is my favorite color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's one under. in the process of doing some designing right now got all the premium materials just kind of at my disposal selecting what I want has been pretty easy with the help of designers if I was trying to do this on Nike ID it'd probably take me the next 10 years I then went on to select what bottom of Air Force I wanted so I could get a white midsole with blue in the dark bottom yep a lot of people don't wear the beast folks like too too much it's like more of a precious value to them yeah, yeah. I want to wear the hell out of them. All right, there's three different types of laces. So you're going to have your wax, you have um, leather, and you have regular. Um, you have two different types of aglets. You have your screw. The screw only comes in three colors. It comes in black, silver, and gold. 
probably just do these. Are these wax? Yeah. I'll do yeah. gold aglets. Can I do core purple with silver? A screw on all of them? Yeah, because you could just buy regular laces at the store. Damn, that's hard. Wow, that's a lot more hard than I thought. Can I put another lettering on the other one? The Nike NYC? So like the NYC on the left and can I do BLZ on the right? Then I tried on a couple models just to find the perfect size. I think, uh, you know, I'm glad I tried the nine and a half. What are you making? Some Air Maxes. Got my materials laid out. Let's see what comes out of it. Two hours later. Finished up the bespoke appointment. It was honestly a whole lot of fun and big shout out to the designers, the current designers that are here. Now it's gonna take about eight to 14 weeks to get the sneaker, but my session here at Bespoke is over. You just finished up your pair? Yeah, I'm pretty much finished, yeah. How'd it go? Uh, looks good. Are you gonna be Stay with nice. me when we get both our pairs? Like, we're gonna review them together? We have to. Well, it'll be on camera together. Yeah. Many months later. And so, we are back from New York. It's December 26th, so literally five months. Day after Christmas. We've been waiting for these for months now. Giancarlo got his pair a couple months ago. Yep. I've still been waiting on mine, but they showed up at my door Christmas Eve, and we're super excited to get into these and show you guys. All right, so let's crack them open. Uh, well, actually, I think we should talk about this first. Yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys the... I would say this is a little portfolio of our design. Yeah. Essentially, when you went into Bespoke, when you create your shoe, at the end of the process, you're given a Nike Lab portfolio in which is the design of your shoe, some materials of your shoe that you use, they give you some swatches, and another angle of the shoe. Right here, I have a purple snakeskin, a white snakeskin, a purple leather, a metallic purple, a purple felt, and two variants of mesh that are no longer used in Nike sneakers. I really like this material though, so I had to use it. All right guys, so this is my pair. It's a Air Max one. Uh, I had a very orange and uh, blue theme to mine. So right here we got a uh, suede. Yeah, like a rustic brown leather. I also did the snakeskin on my pair. And this is 3M. On my sock liner, I used two different types of suede. So I used a blue and a black suede. And then my favorite part was I used some denim. Another thing to mention is, even though that I have all the swatches right here, this is not every swatch that's on the sneaker. For example, I have a cork insole. We're gonna see that in the shoe, but I don't have a cork swatch. I'm also missing a couple other ones just cause they, they were limited, but you got most of yours and I feel like I got most of mine. All right, so with this out of the way, I think it's time, bro. We just cracked the box open. Oh, absolutely. I've been waiting for so long. It's just been a big waiting game. Oh man. Excited, man. Box in a cool. box. Ah. We should do the reactions one at a time, because if we do them together, it's gonna be a bunch of mumbled screaming. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's gonna be a bunch <laughs> of mumbled screaming. All right, well, let's, we'll go with yours first. Okay. Oh, wow, it's own. Oh! oh definitely show off this. Yo! Fang Tay is like the factory name, and I actually have a couple Fang Tay tags myself on some samples. But this one, for the first time, I actually have my own Name on a Nike box, the Air Force One High Bespoke, designed at 21 Mercer Street, New York. The date of production was August 21st. So they actually did these a month after. They did yours a month Mine after. a month after. We'll, see, we'll yeah. see what mine says. Yeah, we'll see what yours says. Because uh, mine took a lot longer. <laughs> dude, <laughs> I'm not... I... <sighs> Ooh, okay, some gray dust bags. They s it smells, smells like that leather, doesn't it? Oh, boy. oh, it's pulling poking, both out, pulling both it's out. poking through, it's poking through. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, I see oh. the toe. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God. Whoa. That snakeskin pops, man. Oh, oh, my. I'm like shaking right now, <laughs> yo. Oh, my God. Blazendary and the old text on the front. Just like some stuff I noticed right off the bat. The purple python where the Air Force One is supposed oh, to go. Oh, they did that in python? Yeah. Dude, that is sick. I chose that. I could do that. Oh, that purple, is sick. Purple stitching uh, where obviously you can see the stitching. We also have my two-tone Nike swoosh of oh, the purple. The, back. the purple with the backing of the metallic. That's what that, that is. Was. That is a very small hint. Yeah. Let me just say, like, you can't see it really front on, but when you see it, when an it angle. looks like piping, 
it really does have an extra little shine to it that makes it pop a lot more. It does. That is a very cool detail. Um, we also have, of course, just white leather on this side. On this side, we kept it again with the white snake skin. So I did it on this panel and this panel. Plus, plus, plus. Peace, freaking, love, and positivity, baby. Freaking embroidered right there in purple. I love how that came out. It actually looks amazing. They're not connected or anything. You could tell the machine lifted up and it really... They took time in making it. Holy crap, I forgot I did that. <laughs> BLZ for Blazendary with a purple Nike right on there. You can add it with or without that. Of course, I wanted to specify that it was my sneaker all the way. Um, you also get to see where I started to use those materials that Nike doesn't use on the top of this Air Force with this purple mesh. You also it see- It almost looks like a jersey. Yeah, that's It exactly. almost looks like a jersey when you look at it from the side. Purple Velcro. That I love cool. that I was able to do that. Purple right here on the strap. And of course, guys, Blazonary on the back. I absolutely love this. That is that is cool. The high top is like my favorite just for the Air Force um, Velcro functionality. Like you look around, it's just my custom shoe. I chose every part between the purple bottom, which wow, this looks. The white midsole, I mean, every single piece. Every piece I did. I chose to leave that all white just to keep it. Like, I feel like if I would've done purple there, it would've looked like a GR. Purple Italian luxury leather laces. I, I actually remember that was a huge uh, detail and you can change what other laces you are want. Are they waxed? Uh, yes, they are they waxed. They are waxed. Uh, so wax laces, of course, Quality. and the uh, silver starred aglets, amazing. You remember that? that? Is, I do not remember you making that. You Apparently, I guess you get a little hang tag. Did you? It says Nike on the back. That yeah, it says sick. Nike, but it has like, it's got the purple snakeskin on the front with of course the gold Nike on the back, some star detailing along the side. Like this is so nice. That is a really cool detail. The biggest differential is the fact that instead of BLZ, it says NYC to represent New York City, where I made them, where I'm from. And I know you're not an Air Force guy, but you're really giving them some props. Oh, dude, these are sick. And Man. let me just say, like the stitching here is very good, especially on the tongue. That blazendary, Pluses look very, very good. <laughs> I forgot, yo. <laughs> Holy f no, bro. I don't even know if you could see it. I no, the insole's glued in. I can't take it out. I don't, no, want I don't to. worry about it. Don't worry about bro, it, bro. No, but look, the lightning bolt. I have a lightning bolt on the inside, so it's cork. But as you guys can see, I put my little lightning bolt blazonary logo in what there. What is that? Lasered on there? Yeah, that's lasered in. Why don't you go ahead and do a sniff test? Because I feel like these are gonna smell amazing. <laughs> And, and and you know, you really pay for this. It was a thousand bucks. You wanna know another cool feature? It actually has your name on the size tag. VIP Giancarlo Perch. Wow, damn. So guys, that was my sneaker. Um, Obviously, I'm, I'm in love. Max, we're gonna go over yours. And yep. date on mine is November 9th, 2019. Wow. So what was yours? Like uh, August 21st. Yeah, so almost two month difference between when these Three. actually got made. But exact same packaging for both models. Oh man. Oh, oh, that denim looks so good. Those are sick. The missing yep. swoosh. <laughs> Deleted swoosh on the side right here. Nice and simple. Didn't want the swoosh there, so I took it off. That's all I had to do. Look at that Nike print on the back. Oh man, these look so good. The reverse denim. So this is the back side of the denim right here. And then this is the regular front side. And so I did it reverse on each shoe so you can see it on these back panels. Oh man, that tongue. So I got my name lasered on it. My name is Max, so I just went ahead and got Max, but I put a backwards swoosh. And then I also did the same thing. I also got cork insoles. I couldn't be the, couldn't leave it to just John Carlo. They said the cork was like um, more moisture absorbent, so they yeah. don't smell as bad over time. You'll wear into it too. Mm -hmm. You'll so mold your foot, it. Yeah, your foot will put a mold into the cork as you wear it over time. All the materials are so soft and buttery. Yeah. Yeah, so one of my choices that I actually made here was I decided I wanted it frayed already. It's doing it right here. Yep, and so I think as with time, as it gets, you know, as you hit it more, it'll start to fray even more. So as you naturally cool. crease it and yep. run around and, you know, and your orange on your inside air bubble. Tiny hit of tiger stripe right there. Yep. That was a nod to Clemson. I'm a big Clemson fan. That's where I go to school right now. I mean, Max, I think you killed it, man. Like, Dude, I you, am You in had love. a color scheme in mind and you executed that really well. So we got the snakeskin swoosh here, and then we also have 3M on the outside. It looks like a, like it looks like a designer sneaker on the side because there's no Nike symbol. Yeah, I love that. It's very muted and it definitely looks that higher end look. Big shout out to Dean and Jay for yeah. helping us design these. Hey, if you guys at home enjoyed this video, please
please let us know. Maybe even like make it a little competition. Who had the better? Who had the better sneaker? Which one? Yeah, let us know. Would you rock? Which do you guys think came out better? I love my pair. I think it's the best pair. I also love his pair. I think mine's know, the best pair. He designed it, so he's gonna think it's the best. But we'll see what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. This has been awesome. We love sharing this with you guys. We hope you guys enjoyed it too. And maybe, we, and maybe you know, we do it again. Yeah, maybe so. Thank you for watching. It's your boy Blazonary. I'm out. Stay positive and peace out.